So I'm just going to go over a few things with the students. One is going to be um, controlling the parameters by Dynamo. So if I have this two-point louver here, and I just place it, you know, into Revit, just like we do, and escape a couple of times, let me pick that guy, and I'll just set it back to zero. So it's 60 and 90, just for now. So it's back to scratch. And then I repeat that right along the line. If you set up a definition in Dynamo where you use the family types and you pick that two-point louver, I'm going to unfreeze this. I've got a bunch of them frozen. Um, you can pick any of the families that you want. So I want the two-point, two-point louver. And if I pick that, you put that into the element set parameter by name. And this is for a type parameter. And then you just put the parameter name with parentheses here, which is P1. So if I come to this guy and edit type, you'll see P1 and P2 are the rotations. And then I set the rotation value here. And then if I run it, right, it'll twist those guys. So if I come in and do this guy at, you know, 15 and run it again, it'll re-rotate them. So just a little thing to set that up. And then let me freeze this guy. And then if we go to the next one, so over here, I'm going to use an instance um, doing a similar thing. So if I come in and take the two-point louver instance here, and I do the same thing, so I'm just going to pick one, two, and then I'm going to repeat that. Now, if I come to set instance parameter by name and range, it has the same setup at the beginning, right? So if I so if I unfreeze this guy, right, I can pick the the family that I want, which the is the two point louver in for instance, and then it goes through all elements of family types and that divides it up into separate pieces. You notice this one is just a family type, so it changes all of the instances at once to 15. But if we get all elements of the family type, then you can go through and get the count. Like this guy, if I run it, let's go ahead and run it. This guy's going to give me a count. It's going to give me a sequence and range. And then that sequence and range between 0 and 90 is going to go into P1 and P2. So if I run this, you'll see this guy will start vertical and close down based on this number sequence that we give it, right? So it goes from 0 to 90, right? And the list, I'm just getting the elements themselves. There's 20 of them, so this just counts that list. So I get the same divisions right through here um, and then actually get an extra one. So we might want to fix that because it divides it by 20 and we get an extra 21 there as opposed to 20 here. So we could call that out. But anyway, it goes into the element set parameter by name and the values come from that. If you reverse the list into one of them right, and run it again, then it'll twist the top separate from the bottom, right? So 90 degrees difference, okay? All right, so the last one is surface by image, um, and I'll do that when I get in the second video.